Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to manage Azure DDoS protection. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. So to give you an idea what exactly the DDoS protection is. So a DDoS protection plan defines a set of virtual networks that have DDoS protection standard enabled and it can be across subscriptions. We can configure one DDoS protection plan for the organization and link virtual networks from multiple subscription to the same plan. And the DDoS protection plan itself is also associated with a subscription that we select during the creation of the plan. The DDoS protection plan works across regions and subscription. For example, you can create the plan in East US region and link to subscription in your tenant. The same plan can be linked to virtual networks from other subscriptions in different regions across your tenant. The subscription the plan is associated to incurs the monthly recurring bill for the plan. So creation of more than one plan is not required. For most organization, a plan cannot be moved between subscriptions. If you want to change a subscription, a plan is in, you have to delete the existing plan and create a new one. So moving forward, if you will click on create a resource and in search box type in DDoS, it says DDoS protection plan. Click on it, click on create, name your plan, my DDoS protection plan, subscription is this, or should I create a new one, or create a new one. Gonna name it my resource group. Click on OK. Location would be East US. I'm gonna click on Create here. This is how you create a DDoS protection plan. Let it create. Then we're gonna see how to enable DDoS for a new virtual network. So it's the deployment is in progress. I'm gonna pause the video and come back. It was done in a flash of seconds. So I'm going to click on go to resource. I'm into my DDoS protection plan. Now I'm going to open up new tab and open up the portal.azure.com because I'm going to create a new virtual network. And then I'm going to link. I'm going to enable the DDoS for a new virtual network. I'm going to click on create a resource. I'm going to click on the net working and I'm going to go to my virtual network resource group I'm going to select the existing resource group here here it is I'm going to name this virtual network as my virtual network location would be East US Next, for the IP addresses, and let it be default security. It says DDoS protection, basic or standard. So, in the select standard and then under DDoS protection, select the protection plan that you created. So, it is this my DDoS protection plan. So we cannot move a virtual network to another resource group or subscription when DDoS standard is enabled for the virtual network. If we need to move a virtual network with DDoS standard enabled, disable the DDoS standard first, move the virtual network and then enable DDoS standard. After the move, the auto-tuned policy thresholds for all the protected public IP addresses in the virtual network are reset. Click on next. this and click on create so here it goes it's initializing the deployment I'm going to open up another tab open up the Azure portal 
and I'm going to click on all services let it come up here it is I'm going to go to my all services then I'm going to click on public IP addresses here it is now I'm going to create a new public IP address click on add or click on create a public IP address IPv4 name my public IP dynamic this is my resource group I'm going to use the existing one click on create it's validating it's done now I'll show you how to disable DDoS for a virtual network it's going to do it so if you go to your virtual network it's complete you go to your virtual network under settings click on DDoS protection basic create a DDoS protection then you click on basic you click on save so it's going to update your virtual network and your virtual network would not have a standard DDoS protection plan linked to it or enabled for it so that's how you would delete it now let's let's see what all we can do with the DDoS protection plan and if you would go to the so if, if there would if the which if I would have not disabled the DDoS protection plan standard from the virtual network when I would have seen protected virtual networks net the network under this now how do you configure alerts for the DDoS protection metrics you can select any of the available DDoS protection metrics to alert you when there is an active mitigation during an attack using the Azure monitor so if you would you know click on here you go to the search bar you type in Azure monitor click on this you come to the Azure monitor you select alerts so if you see the alert screen you click on alerts you click on the new alert reel and it's rule I'm sorry it's gonna come up take few minutes you click on select resource and you select your subscription only have one under resource group you pay as you go and in the filter by resource type in the public IP addresses you click on my public IP addresses and you click on done under condition click on select condition then you would search for uh, attack under DDoS attack or not click on it now if you would scroll down under the alert logic and in the threshold value right type in one to one one here and the one means you are it under you are under attack zero means you are not all right click on done now you have to click on the action group to add the people who will get an email click on create action group name the action group enter a short name I'll tell you name the action group type in the DOS group type in the DOS AG subscription resource group 
type in to look for my resource group ddos alert email in the action type select email sms message push voice then you would have to enter a valid email that is my email ok click on ok now it is creating and updating the action group in the alert as soon as it does that alert rule details alert rule name app gateway description nothing 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 click on create alert rule it's creating the alert rule then Now we can use the DDoS protection telemetry. Telemetric for an attack is provided through Azure Monitor in real time. The telemetry is available only for the duration that a public IP address is under mitigation. We don't see telemetry before or after an attack is mitigated. Now, when this is done, I'm going to go to metrics under the Azure monitor. It is asking me to select a scope. I'm going to select the subscription and the resource group. Select a resource type. Click on apply. It says something went wrong. I'm going to refresh it. Why is it not coming up? So this is how you look at the telemetry data. But if you want to view the DDoS mitigation policy, so DDoS protection standard applies three auto-tuned mitigation policies, TCP sync, TCP and UDP for each public IP address of the protection of the protected resource. You can view the policy thresholds by selecting the inbound TCP packets to trigger DDoS mitigation and inbound UDP packets. This is how you would play with the telemetry data. In, in another video, I'm going to show you the how you would do that, set up the policies and few other stuff related to DDoS. I hope you liked it. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.